guys, this is Kelly, your teen librarian at the Wichita Falls Public Library, here for Crafting Tuesday. We're going to be making a DIY geometric cork board. What you'll need is your cork board or a cork bulletin board. You're going to need paints in the color of your choice. I have mine here. You're going to need painter's tape or any other good sticking tape that you have lying at home, and a paintbrush or a paintbrushes for your paints. If your cork board has a frame on it, then you can choose whether you paint the frame or not. This one does not have a frame on it, so I don't need to make that decision. I did try this design on a previous cork board that I had at home and that one did have a frame. I ended up painting the frame white to see what it would look like. I painted the inside edges and the top of the frame. I only did one or two layers with that, and then I painted the actual cork board with my geometric design and colors, and I ended up painting over the frame again with my white colored paint just to make sure that I got enough of the paint on there and to make sure that if I ended up getting any paint on the frame that that would cover it. The next step is that you will use your tape to create a geometric design of your choice. I used washi tape on my previous one, which I can show you a picture of that at the end of the video, as well as this one. I will be using painter's tape today, so it will stick a little bit better to this different cork board. This one will provide a little bit thicker lines. If you want thinner lines, you can use washi tape, and it's okay to keep on removing or readjusting the tape until you get a design that you like. Now that I am happy with my geometric design, I'm going to start painting. Today I will be using four colors. I will be using Bright Magenta, True Navy, Caribbean, and I'm going to use White. These are Apple Barrel Matte Acrylic Paints. Oh, and I've almost forgot one thing before starting to paint. You're going to want to make sure that you have something underneath this, unless you're doing this outside. So that way, if you get any paint off of the cork board, you're not making a mess or getting it on the floor or the furniture. For this project, you will most likely need to do two coats of paint to make sure that you're getting the color through enough because the cork board can sometimes absorb the paint, which happened in my previous attempt.
depending on how much paint you use in each coat, it might take a while to dry. So if you use a lot on the first coat, you'll probably need to wait maybe 20 minutes or so. And so you do the second coat. And I just finished my first coat, so I'm going to wait about 10 to 20 minutes before I start doing my second coat. I let the first coat dry for about 15 minutes, and now I'm about to apply the second coat. When the final coat is dry, you'll be able to remove the tape. Corkboard turned out like this. If y'all end up trying this craft yourself, make sure that you post the pictures in the comments below. I really do hope y'all enjoyed this activity, and I'll see y'all next time.